Okay, everybody. I want to see a review of this app called WeLine. Um, on the Android or Google Play Store, it's called WeLine Connect to PC. Um, pretty much, this app has been very helpful for me. For the last couple of years, I've been looking for an app to be able to transfer files between my smartphone and my PC because a lot of times I'm taking pictures on my uh, phone and I want to maybe share them with somebody else so you know maybe I want to post them on Facebook because you know I don't know sometimes to me I think it's easier for me to post something from like a site like Facebook on a computer I just like it that way because that's where most of my pictures are or the fact that I'm editing you know photos on the go on my smartphone because it's easier with the different photo editing apps and stuff like that but whatever reason it is I'm always transferring files between my smartphone and my laptop <laughs> So I went through a couple of apps. Um, as you can see on my phone, I have Zender. I haven't really used it that much. Super Beam, I've definitely used that over the course of at least a year. Sent Anywhere and Push Bullet. And they're all pretty good or whatever, but nothing to me tops um, WeLine. <clears throat> so when you go to the app, um, this is what it looks like. Um, before I even go there, though, um, the app, you don't have to download a desktop client to be able to use the app at all. Like, it's just pretty much a website. It's a web app. So, that's all you need is this web address right here to be able to use the app. Um, and it's also available for tablets, too. So, any Android device, I'll actually show you on my laptop itself from the Google Play Store. Any Android device that's 4.1 up, you can use it on. So, there's two different ways to connect. As you can see, there's a WeLine website. And there's a direct IP address. I believe that's what the IP address is. I'm not sure. But it's a direct address. If you use the WeLine address, you have to um, scan a QR code. And if you use a direct address, you don't have to. Once you type that direct address in, um, it'll automatically go to the web app. Um, I think it might ask you for permission. Um, I have to go through it again because I keep on forgetting. But um, also, if you're not like at your home network and I don't know for whatever reason you want to connect um, from a different uh, PC or laptop or something like that um, you can use the QR code that's the other option um, to be able to connect to transfer files between your smartphone and the PC so let me go back now that I've took off my Wi-Fi and you see right here it says visit <clears throat> below Visit below website on PC slash Mac. So I'm going to actually type that in on my laptop. If I'm typing funny, it's because of the fact that my equipment is sitting like right here. So it's kind of hard to type mm -hmm. a little bit. I will get a message when I'm trying to do a review. Jesus Christ. Okay, you see, scan the QR code using WeLine. So. You click mm -hmm. scan scan a code from your laptop and then it'll automatically take you there um and i'm gonna log out to log out you go to the right top corner and you go to log out of course and it says do you really want to quit and close this page confirm and you'll log yourself out um so i'm going to do this via wi-fi it's pretty much finished up the review so I turn my wi-fi on and what i do is Disconnect the app by, you know, swiping away from it. I go back to WeLine, and now I'm going to type in the actual direct line web address. So I type that in. Um, yeah, because I be typing in bad. As you see, it asked me for permission. Press accept. And now I'm connected. Okay. So now that I've showed you the two ways to connect, you can correct, like I said, you connect via the direct way, which is with your Wi-Fi network. You don't need a QR code scan, or you can connect with your smartphone's data connection, and you'll have to scan a QR code from your smartphone to whatever laptop or PC you're using. Okay. The great thing about the app is everything is categorized. Like, as you see, photos are all here under photos, and they're put in order of the date. Um, I don't know what order that is, so don't tell me, you know, get on me about that because I don't remember what the word is for that. 
Um, then you have your gallery where all the different album names is listed as they're supposed to be. Videos, all your videos are here. Music, documents. And the good thing about it is no matter where these files are on your phone, it's going to put them all together in a designated area. All videos are going to come here under video, music, documents, galleries, and photos. If you want to send the file from your smartphone to your laptop, this is really the only way to do this for photos this way. Everything else you have to do it from the PC, but I'm going to show you. And the cool thing is it mirrors exactly what's on your phone on the app on the laptop web app or the PC's web app. So as you see, I went to a picture of my cat and I would click here, this little download button right here at the bottom. And then it'll pop up on your screen to be able to download the files. You can use open with or save file. It may be different for different um, web browsers, but I'm using Firefox. So this is how it looks here. And you would click OK for save file and save it wherever you want it to be saved. So that's for that. Um, if it's a different time kind of file, like a video, as you see when I click on it, it doesn't pop up any options. So you have to actually do that from the web app. So what you do is you can download it from the laptop, from your smartphone, because everything pops up here. So you go here and you click on the different video that you're looking for. I'm going to go for this one just because. Um, so you click on it. You can click multiple ones. And you can download them all at the same time if you want to. Um, on this browser, it'll do one at a time. It'll say save file. And then you click where you want to save file. Then the next one will pop up and go like that in that order. So you click on the file. And you click this little download button right here. And then it'll download it on your laptop. Um, the same thing for everything else. Like a music file, you would go here. Click on the file. And click download up here. You know, download. And like I said, you can batch download. Or you can do it from here. Like wherever you see that download icon is where you can download. So you can do that from any of these places. Um, that's a, oh yeah, it freezes a little. It don't really freeze, but it takes a minute for it to open up for the applications. This is if you want to like back up um, applications on your laptop for whatever reason. Maybe you're upgrading to a different smartphone or something like that. So you can you know download the APK files if you had to download later. Um, and files, which has all of the different files of your smartphone in the file name and order that you know it is on your smartphone, which is pretty cool. Like I said, you don't have to download a desktop uh, client for this. And there's another way, well, the way to be able to transfer files from your PC to your smartphone. Um, one way is to go directly to home and you see this little uh, Nexus 5 um, image right here. It says drag files to transfer, so you can drag and drop. And I already got something open right now. Here's a video. And so I drag this right here to the Nexus 5. And it's going to upload it to the server. And then it's going to appear right here. You see under video, it appeared right there in that designated category of video. And I think you can see it too under, no, gallery is just for photos. But you can see it right there. And I'm going to drag and drop a music file just to show you the different varieties of files. It's going to upload it to... Um, I guess you can say server or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then I go to music and you see new file right there. Um, so yeah, that's how you are able to download files from your smartphone to your laptop. Because you can't do it via the app itself. You can only do it for photos. So it's kind of like push, but like how you can push stuff automatically from your phone to your laptop or whatever. You can't do that for the other files. You have to download it from the laptop from your smartphone, if that makes any sense. Um, so that's that. Is there anything else that I need to show you? Um, oh yeah, there's another way too. Like you can go to the designated categories like photos or videos or whatever, and you can click add whatever the name of the file is. So add video here or add photo or add music. So you can add video. And then go to your videos and select whatever video you want and then open. And then I'll just do this one for a minute, just for a second. And it'll add the file to your phone and you'll see it under video, whatever the name of the file is. If it was music, it will pop up here and you would see new. So that's the cool thing about it. Like 
it's in the exact category of the file it is and it also lets you know that it's a new file so you don't get it mixed up because you don't know the name of the file or whatever it lets you know at the side in red that it's new um other than that that's pretty much the application like i said you don't have to download any extra software or anything like that for your laptop just go to the direct web address or the reline address and you know here it is um other than that i don't think that i've missed anything i didn't so to be able to log out all you have to do is go to the top right hand corner and you would click log out and it'll ask you do you really want to quit and close this page click yes or confirm and then you're logged out and that's it It would take me to where i'm recording this actual video at. i hate when it do that one time it did it and it didn't actually um close firefox and this time it did it did this too uh this time but it, it goes back and forth but it shouldn't close your web browser so i don't know maybe i clicked x by mistake when i did that but that's pretty much it so i hope you enjoyed this review of reline it's a free app it's on the google play store and it's for any android device with android 4.0 on up so i hope you enjoyed the review and i hope this was helpful